This is part three of working with JSON. And in this video, I'll be looking at open row set with a bulk option. So I have two files here, customers and customers with root. They are JSON files. You can see them there in this folder. And we're going to use open row set to open these files and inspect the JSON within. So the difference between these files is uh, customers is a JSON array. And you can tell that it's a JSON array because of the square brackets at the beginning and the end. And within the array, each element of the array is a JSON object representing one customer. Okay, so that's customers. In customers with root, it is a JSON object with a root node called customers and the customers root node contains the array. So those are the differences and within the array, it's the same as the other file. There are five customers. So those are the differences between the files. So let's get started. Let's run this query with a simple select star from open row set just to see what it gives us. Okay, so running that gives us a column, one column called bulk column. And in that column is the JSON array which contains the customers. So that's good, but it's not super useful to begin with. So one thing we can do is uh, declare a variable, a JSON, I've called it JSON, it can be called anything. The data type needs to be nvar char max. Uh, and what we can do is assign the bulk column to that variable and then select from open JSON and use the open JSON function to actually look at the JSON within. So let's try that. Okay, we can see that we've got the five customers from the array and each one is in a different row and we can look at one at a time, pretty much how we did in, the, in one of the previous videos. But of course we don't need to use a variable, we can just use uh, OpenJSON directly on the results from open row sets. And we do that by using the cross apply operator. The cross apply operator allows us to apply a function to each row in um, a data set returned by some other query. So, so if this is the query, select uh, custom, you know, column names from open row set, then we can use cross apply to apply the open JSON function to the data returned by open row set. And of course the data is in this bulk column column and um, a previous video covered open JSON. So I'm not going, going to go into the detail of how this works, but basically I've used the with clause to define some elements that I want to extract from the JSON object that's in bulk column. So let's run that and see what it does. Just check that it's doing what I'm saying it's doing. And it has returned the five rows. I've extracted customer key, first name, last name, and sales territory group. And then I've put the entire JSON object into this customer uh, column by using the as JSON keywords in that column definition. So that is how we can combine open row set bulk with cross apply open JSON uh, to directly pull data out of a JSON file into columns in a query. So um, let's move on to the, this customers with root because things work a little differently there. Uh, but before I continue, let me just uh, look at the structure of open row set. It's a function that goes in the from clause or anywhere that you would expect uh, a record set to be returned. And we use this bulk option and then the file name. And then for JSON, we use this single clob. So C-L-O-B, uh, character large object, that means. And it essentially gets the data from the file and puts it into a character large object. So let's, uh, this is a different file. This is the one with the root node. It's not a JSON array. So let's see what that does. When we run this, this just returns uh, the, the single row. So it doesn't actually return the five rows per customer. It's returning the JSON array into that value there. So um, that's less than useful. <laughs> So what we can do, of course, is try cross apply open JSON on that value and see what it does. Let's just try and extract the customer key this time. Now that doesn't work. The reason that doesn't work is because the value in bulk column is not a JSON, uh, is not a JSON object. It's a 
a JSON array is the array that's sitting under the customer's node, root node, in the customer's root file. Um, just to remind you, the customer's with root file is a JSON object itself, and the customer's is the root node, and that contains JSON array. In order to get at the data in the customer array, the customer's nested object that contains the array, we need to use cross-apply twice. So let's uh, look at how that works. So the first thing that we do is we use cross-apply open JSON on the bulk column, and we define a single column that contains the JSON in the customer's node of the file. So the customer's node is defined here. We're calling the column customers. We're giving it a, a data type of nvarchar max, and we're using the as JSON keyword to tell the uh, open JSON function that this column contains JSON objects. And we're giving it an alias of R. So we can then use cross apply again on the column created in the first cross apply. So that's r.customers. We can use open JSON. And then we can define a with clause that extracts data from r.customers. Remember, r.customers contains those five rows in that JSON array. So let's look at what happens when we run this. So it does what we wanted. It returns the five rows. We've got the customer key, the first name, the last name, and the sales territory group. So that is the very basic use of open row set bulk with single clob to look at a JSON file 